There it is. A lintel on this job that didn't take us till night time. That's a win in my book. Yeah, almost finished, it's not night time. <laughs> there you go. Sides are in, upstanding vents are in, trays in, and as you can see, no matter how even that short span, it's still got a bounce in the lintel. There's our insulation, it's actually 150 that, but we're going to split it down. Happy Tuesday, the 26th of March, and we are back, back on this one. Mm -hmm. Looking nice, just a bit of that. So, obviously, we did the canopy first. We had a Nasty surprise on that. We've got a bigger nasty surprise on that. So we're hoping um, this nice little lint will be treated a bit better. So far, it's a little bit. It's looking a bit easier. It's yeah. it put splits at the top, so by the time we've put a lintel in, that should just work. Hopefully, I'm expecting the the, the soldiers to be attached to the um, concrete yeah. again. But, yeah, we have to take it out quite wide. There's nothing there. It's just silicon there. So yeah. I'm assuming yeah. So we'll have to come out to here because our trail has to go up there. We'll have to so. peel this off and go up to up to the vent. Yeah. So it's it's only a tiny lintel, but it's a big hole we've got to make, and there's a crack above it. So this is going to sort all that out. So even with all that extra bit work, it's still a nice small lintel to do. <laughs> I've said if we finish at dark today, we're retiring. <laughs> yeah. Right. Let's get the little scaffold up and um get cracking. Right, we set up. There's our weapons of choice. That thing is just I've waited a long time for this. It's absolutely brilliant. As you can see, it's so well balanced. It's only got a little five amp power battery on, but it's even with the five and a half band power battery on, it's it's great. So that's just to get us going, to get us a hole in. Once the hole's in, that thing just sails through the lime mortar. Yeah, and as you can if you look close, those bricks have been cut to fit in. So um, it's going to be tight. Right, let's get up there. Sure. That's a good craftsmanship, isn't it?
so same as last time just stuck on to the cast concrete only this time we're expecting it yeah and plus it's not a big 1800 window wheel but it can fall out it's supporting itself at the moment we're going to prop it in a minute when we go wider but um these are okay you can see where the back of the bricks lamin could delaminate onto the concrete yeah well there's a little piece of it that's still stuck yeah and also the joints are that tight we might have to go and get the cutters to cut these down to get well yeah because you're gonna have to get vents in aren't you so that's automatically making the joints bigger yeah Vent there, one there, one there, one there. Oh. Rub the hammer so it don't damage the bricks. There you go. Concrete. Which is like. Nowadays, that is like a cardinal sin. Because that is just a massive cold bridge. That's what I said the front room is really cold. So, since we've done that lintel. This has all been cut back and there's insulation going in, so there's a tiny cavity formed, so the, the, the coal can't bridge through that into that into the front room. I'm going to do the same here, get the little grinder, cut this back. We've got to cut it back anyway to get the lintel in, but um, so there'll be a bit of an air gap and we'll be able to get some insulation in. And then um, put some insulation in this cavity as well. But there we go. There we go. Rubber hammer so we don't damage it. Oh! That's it. Arch out, and there's the backs of the bricks. You can see the wet concrete there when it was cast. I'm sure that was a great idea back in the 50s whenever they were built. But um, sounds have changed. There's the ceiling joist or floor joist there. Yeah, back when they wore asbestos fire suits. Yeah, great ideas. When asbestos was the magic, um, magic stuff. Did you know all the snow in the Wizard of Oz was asbestos? Oh my god. <laughs> No wonder they're small and green. There we go. So next stage is take these out. Take these four and a half out. Take these three out. Nice big hole to work with. The upstand on the lintel's only 100 mil, so it gives us plenty to get here. I don't know. Yeah, there's a tray there, so we can tuck under. Let me just show you. Here's the using tray, so we can tuck under that. Happy days. Like I say, we're going to have to take this back. But we have the technology. We've got the uh, little grinder and we've got the, um, the SDS. So, um, we'll get the shaft going now, in the middle, and we'll take these two, two sides out.
out. When you clean the, the commons, can you keep on this side and then that side so you know which one's the which? Huh? When you clean these, keep them on this side and you clean these, keep them on that side. Okay. What time is it? Half oh, past nine. Get over there. I was thinking that, yeah. You look and think that little tiny lintel, what a doddle. It's never a doddle. Not if you're going to do it properly. So this half was only half a half. So you can make a closure if you like. We don't want to put a lintel on that. So we're going to swap, swap it out for a big half. Let's put a lintel on. Obviously 150 seating, that gives our upstand here. That's why we have to go past so far. Our lintel is 150, but we have to come past here for this upstand. This tie is going to have to come out because it's in the way of this cavity tray these will come out as well all this stuff bridging the cavity and then have to break to get the little grinder out take this back about 15 20 mil make sure we go back far enough this time because we just we were just out last time so um as you can see it's not the best concrete but uh yeah there's the joists were they about three and a half three and a half not wonky with a brick and edge beam fill. So yeah, quick putty and then a um, little grinder out and get this, this lintel taken back. Just a quick one here. Here's our trusty Milwaukee grinder with a big battery on it. It's better with a 5 amp hour battery this. But anyway, this is a Milwaukee Fix Tech nut which believe it or not we bought this so flip it up close your lock at the back Right, show you this with our, our 150mm 4.5 inch grinder. I've actually bought this. Uh, excuse the blade because I dropped it on the floor. So, blade on. That'll be going in the bin, obviously. Bought this from a um, tool station. I actually paid for this. It's a Milwaukee Flex Tech nut. Absolutely brilliant. So, screw it on. Put your, your lock on. Don't touch, don't loosen it. And then, hand tighten. Ready to go. And again. And no tools needed. Brilliant. Flex tech. Fix tech. They're actually on sale in tool station at the moment, I think two and a half quid. So get them at tool station now. It's the Milwaukee. Absolutely brilliant. Right. After a little bit of drama, you taking my fingertips off with the grinder when I dropped it on the floor. And then um, Luckily it landed on the blade, so the blade got damaged. Not my fingers and not the grinder. So I've been to get some more blades. 
So I'm going to get this on now and I'm going to get that lintel cut back. A good 20 mil. So let's get it done. Right. I'll speak up so you can hear me because I've got my mask on. But I thought for a change, I'd take you with me. So you're coming for a ride on here with me. And because it's DJI, we have a quick release system, so you're on a couple of magnets, so there you go. You have to mount. Now you just go over here, spin your arms. There you go, you're in. So hopefully I'll just check on my phone you're in the right place and so then we'll get cracking. There you go. There you are. That's weird, isn't it? Oh wow. <laughs> I'm on my phone, on my phone, on my phone, on my phone, on my phone. <laughs> it goes on forever. <laughs> so now I know we're shooting in the right place. Yeah, I should do it. Alright, so I'll take cover, I'll see you in a minute. Okay. Right. 
Now, I need to cut the ink down. Hopefully that's power tools done with now. Yeah. Might do a little bit more. More with the old chest mount, see how it goes. Bit of up close and personal work. So, um, do you want to take it up and show them the... I think you've hooved it all. Yeah. Just show them the lintel now where I've cut it back. And show how bad the concrete is that they've used. Show them scrap, um, sandstone LT. Oh, look at that. I think this side he just managed to get it off with a br uh, brick hammer. <coughs> but there you go, so that's, that's your knockback. Hopefully it's enough. We've moved as many I've bricks. Checked. Hmm? I've checked. We've moved as many bricks back as we could as well. But these ones, the head is going in that way, so we don't want to interfere with that in case he knocks any plaster off. Cool. Nice. We cut down to 765, so we've got 150 each side, and then we've got the cavity tray is going to come pa past up to its up stands. Yes. And then obviously, get some insulation back here as well. Happy days. Right. That's where we're going with that. Well, a bit further back. Once that half's on, oh, it's just knocking us up a, a bucket full. I am going to get a paddle though, so we can stick it in the STS drum. We just need an STS end on it. We've only got the um, normal chuck at the moment. I'm not sure how to change the chuck on that. We do have a normal chuck you can change. It's called, it's called yeah, Fix Tech. So, as I was saying, 
we've got this. Put it right way up for the camera. It's called a fixed tech chuck. And there's just, um, just so you pull that back, not the chuck bit, the back bit, and the STS chuck pops out. And then we have another chuck in the box, which is a normal chuck, which just pushes in there. So, Brilliant. So you can change from SDS to a normal chuck and it's a keyless chuck as well. So no messing around with the bloody chuck key. So it doesn't matter if we get an SDS one now because we've got a proper chuck. So yeah, this thing just gets better and better. That's clever that. One pull, out comes the chuck. That's brilliant. Fantastic. Done it again. I could do that spot board, please make sure you don't keep doing that. Please help. Maybe the radio? Generally, what one has got to size? Thank you. you can always try and make try your best to get it power up. 23 mil. Something that'll, that'll stay balanced. <coughs> Mind you, it's not going to go anywhere. What's the bridge going? Is it? No. Um, silicon I'm going to need. Yeah, couple of nails, please. Yeah, a couple of nails, please. Instant nails? Instant nails, yeah. Where was that? It was a full one left over. Right. Really? We used up the last of the, uh, the old stuff and. Right, how and. Are we filming anything now? Uh, yeah, we are now. Joystick to me. Yeah. 
Well, that's good. No matter what, what size, no matter what size the lint one, whether it's 1800, 700, we always end up at this spot before lunchtime. Yeah. Like it, it's it's weird because we always end up at the point where the tray's in and we're ready to start bricklaying after dinner. It's bonkers. But yeah, we'll see you in a bit. There you have it. Tray in, trimmed up, upstand, upstand. Ready for our first vent there. First vent there, and then we're going to put one in here. Put one in here. And I think that'll do. I don't think it needs any more. I think it's five bricks across the foot, middle. So one, two, three, four. Or maybe no. I think we'll change that. One here, and then one here, and one here. That will make it up to go along anyway. Because it's already in. You've got brick and half and a brick. So it's, you can't get this. We like it symmetrical, but you can't always get it symmetrical. Uh, it's not pretty, but it's all gobbed up with no nails. That's actually nothing there. There's no wall there or there. That's a joist nailed into that. We're stuck, to, stuck on the end. Uh, stuck it along there, nailed onto another joist. Stuck along, stick and nailed onto the joist, so it's going nowhere. So we go way past our lintel. Then our upstand goes past. Same again, because the we have to go to the next perp. If you went to the first perp, you, you wouldn't go past the lintel. You've got to go past the lintel. Now I never used to do it like this. As, you, as you'll see in my earlier videos, I used to just drop the tray onto the lintel. To the back there, just so it so the water through the water onto the lintel. Which obviously put water directly onto the metal and didn't protect it. Now I didn't know any better, that's how we used to do uh, cavity trays back in the 80s and then being off site for a long time just working on conservatories never did them so never found out until I started watching YouTube and then I think it was a Stu Compton video I watched one of his and showed me did a step by step and I put a tray in so um, that's how I learnt on YouTube so that's all sorted that's ready for our brickwork mix is done we have to cover that up because I've been dinner and then it's going to be build this cheek up build this cheek up and then get these um, soldier bricks in now we've got a new blade for the grinder after me um, near miss I'm gonna get Alex to um, trim a couple down as you can see one already one's already been done by it with the brick hammer so we'll do it a bit neater with the with the mini grinder because we haven't got the big MX saw with us today we've got the little one as a backup so um, yeah bit of brick work there bit of brick work there right there's our insulation it's actually 150 that but we're going to split it down and use it in there and I'll just give me a little bit more to a quick knock up and get it cracked off there's me there's my vents so a um, bit of time lapse now after all that filming so I'll see you up there
Hi, right, Clive's having a chat. Alex is having a sit down. He's feeling rough again. There you go. Sides are in. Upstanding vents are in. Trays in. And as you can see, no matter how even that short span, it's still got a bounce in the lintel. These lintels even have a label on to say make sure you prop them. So, got a bit of timber out of the van, which luckily we had in the back of the van. So I'm going to insert this in here. So I'll um, put you down somewhere because I can't do it one-handed. And then um, we can get cracking. And also, we're going to put big perps in and get rid of a brick because these are that tightly perked oh, I've never see that they never even got mortar on the back there they just spread the front ridiculously tight see no mortar just a slither at the front and when it when they've been raked out they've actually um, ground them so the joints are bigger so terrible really so we're going to put nice big perps in which is fine because it's on the side and it's also more balanced so we're going to put a brick and a soldier with a vent there and then we're going to put a vent there and then the vents are more or less evenly spaced out they just don't look symmetrical but yeah that's the plan so music starting now so we're going to switch off Some footage of some poetry in motion. Hey, he's getting some footage of some poetry in motion. Yeah, no lintel. Same as the other one, the bricks were attached by concrete. So again, we'll cut it back, put some insulation around it, put a new lintel in, new tray, usual governs. There it is, a lintel on this job that didn't take us till night time. That's a win in my book.
But yeah, um, I'll give you a little showcase. So obviously, you know how it goes. Cavity tray, wheat vents, obviously the lintel. Um, we've done away with the brick. I think that's mad, I don't know if Dan's mentioned this or not, but even with the brick gone, that still works out quite nicely. And we've just took, because there was just little tiny splits, like bloody that big, we've just um, done, done away with them and it still looks quite good. Obviously, once we come back for this prop, we'll get um, a trim back on there and then a trim on there to cover up the um, lentil as to the customer's request once again. But there you go, it's another, another lentil ticked off. Lintels to me are very um, piece of mind care jobs because if a lintel needs doing, it's usually a good thing once it gets done. It looks nice, you know it's a lot safer. Especially the ones, especially these ones, which have just been bloody glued onto the back of um, a cast concrete lintel. But yeah, they're, they're at no risk of falling now, so now we're happy. And here we are again. Can't remember when we did this, but it's all all gone off. So, pop out. Ready to seal. I'm gonna just give it a clean up. Put a, put a trim on the top and a trim on the lintel because you don't want the uh, the lintel showing. So, as I've not really know where to put it, I'll put put some time lapse. So, let's get it. Trim across the top and then a little trim to cover the lintel. Just finishing it off nicely. And nice new soldiers and lintel tray and vents. The usual gubbins, but there you go, all done. So um, I think I might have interrupted Alex's outro, so back to Alex's outro then. And uh, we hope you were happy with the video. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a like. And if you're new to the channel, you want to see more, hit subscribe and tap on that bell. It's always a massive help, and we appreciate the support. Obviously, if you're if you after something in particular, be sure to check out the playlist. We've got players for lintels, garage conversions, concrete walls, you name it. If it's a job we've done, it'll be in a playlist. And any additional support you'd want to give, there's the super thanks under the video, or this is Dad's PayPal in the description, which is not necessary by any means. It's just an, an extra way of supporting the channel, which we heavily appreciate. Especially with this one. Third pre-op next month so hopefully we find something out we'll find something out but this has been Brick Clay with Steve and Alex with a nice easy lintel for once and we'll see you in the next one <laughs>